In this episode of Caesar Solves the Case... He ran up and lunged and he like bit her cousins mm -hmm. on the weenie. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, the weenie On the attacked. human's weenie? Yes. A weenie? A weenie, a weenie attacked the weenie. <laughs> yeah. And it left a little bit of a mark. I never heard that story It left before. a little bit of a mark. Hey guys, that's me, Peter. Together, Caesar and I have traveled around the world. We've read your stories, heard your problems, and on our way to achieve Caesar's mission of making this world a better planet by making better humans. Sometimes you don't get the dog you want, but you get the dog you need. Through the lens of my camera, let's see if Caesar can solve the case. Today we are joined by TV actress Kendall Long, her mom Michelle, and the rescue Pistachio. I rescued Pistachio from Bunnies and Buddies is an organization that saves um, dogs from South Korea from kill shelters and meat markets. So I rescued him about six months ago from a kill shelter. Um, two days before he was supposed to be put down, he doesn't really like people that much. I'm really hoping that Caesar can help train me, because I think that's the issue. I want to know how to react when Pistachio has trust issues with other people. So um, first initial greeting of people, Pistachio can get really, really aggressive. He's actually nipped a few people before. Um, and I just want him to feel like he can trust other people and be around other people and not feel like he has to protect me. Um, he'll, out of nowhere, just go up and kind of like nip at someone or bark at someone and it, it seems like he's okay and he trusts them and he's just kind of a little bit unpredictable so I really hope Caesar can help him uh, open up love in his heart to more people. <laughs> Caesar begins by teaching Kendall how to enter a dog park by evaluating the energy of the other dogs as well as your own. Okay yeah. so you don't come in or you don't move forward until everybody's in the same frame of mind so that gives them direction that you know how to protect. So, so see what happened here? Mm -hmm. So they detect a different energy. They're gonna say, we don't agree with your energy. So they don't, they're not gonna say, where are you from? What happened to your past? So they're not gonna go and investigate about an experience from the past. They're going to assess and evaluate at that moment. But when people rescue dogs with a bad past, they hold down to it. Yes. So what that yeah. makes you do is it makes you uh, go into a very emotional way of being, which you end up feeling sorry for the dog. But once the dog is in America, it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so there's no need to maintain. It's good to feel sorry for the dog while you rescue him, but mm -hmm. once you rescue him and you got the papers, you're done. After opening the gate, Caesar directs Kendall to take the leadership position and guide Pistachio into the dog park. Come on, babes. No, no, no. Oh. Don't do the sound yet. Because you go, hi, baby. So that's a baby talk. Mm -hmm. I know I baby talk him a little bit. You, you understand? Yeah. So watch, I'm going to control all this meeting because they're going to get, gonna, the only thing they want is smell it. Mm -hmm. So they're overwhelmed. So this is when the human have to feel calm, confident. The, mm -hmm. the smell is going to pass. The whole sniffing ritual is going to pass. Okay. It's going to pass. But the, the calmer you are, the excited you are, the less worry you are, the faster it happens. I see. So in life, you know, uh, I'm 50. In life, what we learn is whatever the situation is, the faster you go to calmness, the faster it passes. Mm -hmm. That moment of uncertainty, the mm -hmm. best thing you can do is not to baby talk it. Yeah, yeah. Breathe, relax. For you or for the dog. Because mm -hmm. what you want to bring is an energy that grounds them. So that's more like a story created by dog lovers. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. they believe that a dog is a baby. So that's a story, that's not reality, because a panda baby is a panda baby, it's not a human baby. Mm -hmm. But dog people believe that uh, uh, dogs are human babies. Yeah. So of course you're gonna use human, <laughs> yeah. of course you're gonna use human psychology, but if they give you a panda, you're gonna learn the panda psychology. This is good. <laughs> so this is self-esteem, you're working on self-esteem. Mm -hmm. You know, so in order for you to get rid of insecurity, uncertainty, uh, dogs or people have to learn to do things on their own. Your job is to provide guidance and protection. After entering the dog park, Pistachio immediately starts to leave. He runs to the fence, he barks, but eventually he starts to figure it out. So okay. this is flight. Yes. He's trying to find a way out. He's letting you know he's uncomfortable. Help me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but it's not using common sense. Mm -hmm. You see, so why us letting it look? Now he's coming here, he's going through it, following, following a different you know, uh, option. Now this is surrender mm -hmm. coming to you. Mm -hmm. 
So, mm -hmm. it's a, so without us saying anything verbally, yeah. the brain is started, so what, what are my options? What are my choices? Fight, flight, avoid, and surrender. Just surrender. Yeah, surrender yeah. is the most powerful one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because what happens is your mind opens up. Harm him, like a lot of his past is a mystery. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no paperwork about him. There's, like, so I don't know. I just know like how it's affected him. So I try to like make him feel safe and loved as much as I can. Mm -hmm. But this is good. It could be coddling, you know, sometimes. <laughs> One of our pack members, Bobby, starts to invade Pistachio's space, and he begins to jump on her. Caesar directs Kendall to take the leadership position and take the leash to assert boundaries. Using calm, confident energy, she's able to use the tool to achieve the outcome they want. You, you block the brain from mm -hmm. chasing your dog. Yeah. Do I? Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hurt him. <laughs> you can't I hurt know. him. Yeah. No. It's so if you don't do something about it, mm -hmm. and then you're hurting. Yeah. You're doing something about it. Mm -hmm. You see, that alone is, I'm going to take the leadership, the guidance mm -hmm. of you getting carried away with my dog being in a flight state. You mm -hmm. know, you know, in school, mm -hmm. uh, the bullies only go after the weak ones. Yes. Right. Yeah. So, so, so bullies. Frenchies, mm -hmm. this is a very common thing. Yeah. So this guy has been raised by us right now, right? Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a four month old Frenchie. And as you can see, he said, well, my instinct said that if you are weak, I should make you strong, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. so and, then, and then today he learned that a stranger can tell him to not use moving forward yeah. in such a rude way. Because we will call it rude, they will call it it's normal. Mm -hmm. I'm helping him because he's weak. Yeah. You know Toughening what I mean? him up. Toughening him up. Yeah, yeah. right. But then it's like, why would you do that? He just came from China. Yes. Or a thing. He I was a big like that, you know what I mean? Holding on to his past. Yeah, and then people would just, instead of doing what you just did, people would lift the dog. From trying to get out of the dog park to now figuring out that the dog park is safe, Pisachio figured out the problem. Caesar tells Kendall that this moment is when to reward her with baby talk and affection. You can say That's right true. now that yeah, right now is he's okay. Yeah, he baby. he solved a, he solved <laughs> a, a, a problem. Yes. You understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you were to do it, it's okay when he's pacing over there and, and, uh, and then you're rewarding that. So something that I'm afraid of is him nipping at guests or friends. Um, one time my housemate had um, her cousin over and oh, he was like doing the introduction when they first met him and usually I distract him with like a toy mm -hmm. um, and then when I had released him from that he ran up and lunged and he like bit her cousins mm -hmm. on the weenie mm -hmm. so like you know the weenie on the attack. human's weenie yes a weenie a did weenie a weenie, attacked the weenie. <laughs> yeah and it left a little bit of a mark I never heard that story it left before a little bit of a mark. Uh, so brother. that's the fear like the fear is like he's gonna bite the wrong person right and then then he's taken away from me yeah, yeah but but I mean you heard yourself right you yeah. begin with worry. Yeah, yeah. So, so a new person coming into the house and then you're giving the signal, I'm worried. And mm -hmm. so then you give him more, uh, more like a reason to stay in that because now he have to protect you. He mm -hmm. doesn't just have to protect himself from That's his traumatic is. experience. Yeah. Now he have to protect you because your energy, instead of going calm, confident, worry made you weak. You understand? So it's yeah. like when people, like when, when a dog had a traumatic experience at the vet, and so the vet, you know, most people go see the vet twice a year. So then you get, you get the call and say, you, you have an appointment. Yeah. Guess what? That human, two weeks before the vet, is already worrying about the vet. Yeah. It's really up to you. So yeah. what you're saying, in other words, is I'm not in control of my life. Mm. So because I'm not in control of my life, uh, this dog figured it out. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, in, in any relationship, someone has to lead. Mm -hmm. In any relationship. So if there's two chairs, you took the follower position. Emotional. But it's, an, it's a dog that is insecure. So you're letting an insecure dog lead the pack. Or he is like nipping at somebody. Like what, how, what's the best way I can like give energy or react to that situation? Disci like I, I, I try not to discipline. I feel like you reward positive. You don't re um, react to negative. But in situations like that, it's like, what is the reaction? Discipline is not correction. Yeah. Discipline is a structure. So the mm -hmm. Germans, 
don't see discipline as punishment. Mm -hmm. The Japanese don't see discipline as punishment. Yeah. Only the Americans see discipline as punishment. Yeah. But in order for you to be an Olympian, you have to be disciplined. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. you first have to, we have to begin with you because yeah. you need to be disciplined on being calm, confident, love and joy. Mm -hmm. You have to be disciplined on, on building trust, respect, love. Yeah. You have to be disciplined on leading the dog versus the dog leading you. Kendall then begins to share when Pistachio and her came into each other's lives, a moment that shapes their relationship to this day. He came into my life as soon as I went through a breakup, and so I associate him. He's like my safety. Like when I was going through so much pain, like mm. I held on so tightly to him, and I feel mm. like he was also recovering from all that pain from not mm. having a home. And so now we depend so heavily on each other. So he has that separation anxiety. He, we both hold on to each other so much. So I think it's like building independence. It's kind of toxic. A little bit, yeah. yeah. I think it's just like it's we're. It's time so, to move on. Yeah. Yeah. So I so later tonight or later today you gotta like write a letter or something whatever you gotta do I don't know what's your rituals <laughs> I have a temple over there you know mm -hmm. for a reason because a lot of people uh, don't move on yeah you know what I mean that that situation can happen three weeks ago a week ago a year ago three years ago five years ago ten years ago mm -hmm. but they still relieving it yeah yeah because I want him to be independent like I want him to be able to feel comfortable with people because. I, I don't want him to feel anxious because I love him. Let's start with trust. Yeah. Then the independent yeah. comes after many repetitions of trust. Once you trust yourself and then you become independent. That's so it. Having him trust himself or trust that I can That's right. protect him. That's right. Yeah. And how yeah. you start is by you not creating so much stories because everything you keep talking is stories and stories. Yeah. I don't want him to buy it. I, I put a muzzle on it, but mm -hmm. I don't like the muzzle, you know, because it makes me feel bad. I took yeah. this freedom away. <laughs> All this is stories. Yeah, you know I feel I mean? like I have to put the muzzle on before he even reacts. And so he feels like, because before someone comes to the door, I want to prepare and be like, okay, well, I want to put the muzzle on before because then I'm, he might get away from me after, you know? So I feel, so I guess, prepared. I feel bad because I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm um, disciplining him before he's even done an action that so deserves not a discipline. discipline. Yeah, it's just safety. You're just preparing yourself to do the right yeah. thing. Yeah, you just I have to think, change the way you think. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because the prepare the the uh, the rituals are good. It's just mm -hmm. the energy is bad. Yeah, Only. yeah. Story versus reality. Mm -hmm. Story versus reality. So most people are in the story, constantly, 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 great story. Yeah, you know, constantly because somehow that person feels that they have to figure it out. Yeah. Like on the story. I know he's doing this because the mailman. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a story. <laughs> yeah. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's a story. No, the mailman has to come every single day. It's up to mm -hmm. you if you want them to behave calm mm -hmm. or if you want them to behave excited. Caesar then brings Rio, our macaw, to meet Pistachio, teaching Kendall how mm -hmm. to introduce new species to Pistachio, showing her that she isn't anxious or afraid to meet other people or animals. In fact, she is curious. She's using her nose instead of her eyes or ears. There's a certain process. Yeah, he's like, what is that? That's right, what is that? Same, same, same thing as a cat. And you can bring a possum, as what is that? Hmm. And you can bring an ant, what is that? They're supposed to smell, mm -hmm. and then me, calm, confident, and then Rio trusts me. Mm -hmm. So the only one who we don't have report, look, everybody else. So mm -hmm. she knows everybody else, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, see, that's remarkable to me. Yeah, that's crazy. There you go. So what I did is she did. Why? Mm -hmm. Because he's moving, he keep moving when she's already saying, I'm done. Mm -hmm. So give me my space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So look, look at everybody else, look, everybody else gives space. Yeah, my natural thought is like predator and prey. You know what I mean? Which is true. But I, I, I initially I'm just like, oh, pistachio like, is a predator in this scenario. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And again, it's my fear. Like I know it's my fear, but I was like, please don't bite the bird. Right. But no, I'm glad that yeah, I mean, it's crazy that he But see, all that right. happened in your head. Yeah, I know, it did. You see Completely. what I mean? Yeah, Completely. quietly. Yeah. Quiet. So if you were to be holding that, Pistachio would go after it. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. I, I don't know Pistachio. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I know how he feels right now. Mm -hmm. So I'm, my evaluation, my assessment is how he feels right now. Yeah. And how he feels right now, I trust him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know him. Yeah. Never fed That's him. That's the hardest thing. Caesar then shows Kendall how her friends can introduce themselves to Pistachio. Hey, can I meet Pistachio? Yeah. Sure, you can meet Pistachio. This is the steps. Yeah. And then the person comes, do that, and then, give mm -hmm. me five, Pistachio. Oh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Pistachio's like, hey, everybody, you want to meet? <laughs> yeah. So everybody has that. So then you go nose, eyes, touch. Yeah. Nose, eyes, touch. Mm -hmm. so I look 
Go for it this time. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. You can fight. There you go. There you go. Good job, Pistachio. Andre, do it. This is Andre's first time meeting Pistachio, and as you can see, she just wants to feel calm and respected. And in order to give respect, you have to get to know her the way she would get to know you, through nose, eyes, and ears. You gotta, yeah. you gotta gain your self-esteem back. You gotta you yeah. know, get your self-confidence back. Mm. You know what I mean? And the more you know that you can control that situation, then you take the, the muscle off, you got this. It's inside of you, you're dealing with this mm. lack of confidence, mm -hmm. right? And he just brings it even more. Yeah. I think, yeah, no, I, I can't, I think I just didn't realize that he was so sensitive to like things I held within, you know? Like I always thought if I presented confidence, even though I was kind of feeling not yeah. too confident, right. but just kind of like letting go of that fear. But a hundred percent. Not yeah. like a That's not, 10%. I need to work on that. Yeah, That's not, me. not like a yeah. 90, not even 99 because they can pick it up. You understand? Yeah. The, because remember, you, you say something very important. Listen, Caesar, I met this guy at a really, 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 really low moment of my life. Mm. And he comes from a very low moment of my life. So we give each, we knew each other in a low moment of our life. Yes. He moved on, I have not moved on. Mm -hmm. You see, I, I still want to protect him. Yeah. From what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. it's like time, it's time for this calm, confident, love, joy person. Mm -hmm. Kendall and Pistachio are on a journey together. We are all fighting our own battles, things we've held on to for a long time. And maybe it's time to let go and move on. Dogs live in the moment, and that is something we all can learn from. Remember, you might not always get the dog you want, but you get the dog you need. Here at the Dog Psychology Center, we aren't focused on telling stories. We are focused on creating realities. See you next time on Caesar Solves the Case. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment, and join me on my mission of better humans, better planet.